Jesus is God incarnate. Yes, that means Jesus is God in the flesh. Isaiah 7, 14 says that uh, a virgin shall conceive and bring forth a son, and we shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. Uh, Jesus is God incarnate. I'm saying this because many people only confess Jesus as being a prophet, a good person, a nice man, excuse me, a great teacher, one who performs signs, wonders, and miracles. In the Jehovah Witness Bible, New World Translation, they say in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was a God. They slipped a little A in there. Jesus is not a God. Jesus is God. He's God incarnate. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 3. If you look it up in the Amplified, he's the express, the express image of the invisible God. He is God incarnate. In Hebrews chapter 10, verse 5 says that a volume of, uh, it says that in the volume of the book, it is written of me, a body you have prepared. You know, I am come to do your will. God made himself a man. Uh, in Philippians chapter 2, verse 6 through 8. He emptied himself of his godly reputation. He came in the likeness of a servant in the form of a man. Yes, he did. This is God himself. Took his own sperm, impregnated the virgin, and brought himself in the flesh. Jesus is God incarnate. That's who he is. He always was with the Father. He, in the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. In John chapter 1, 14 says, And that Word became flesh. So God became flesh. That's who Jesus is, y'all. Man, don't ever get hoodwinked on this. In 1 John chapter 4, it talks about whoever confesses that Jesus Christ is not come in the flesh is, is antichrist. They're not of God. Jesus is God incarnate is what it's implying. God has come in the flesh. You know, that, that covenant God who, who, made, who broke covenant with Abraham came to his own and his own received him not. You know, the same person who all the Jews were worshiping and called themselves in cahoots with and in covenant with, he came in fleshly form. They didn't recognize him. They didn't receive him. As a matter of fact, they hated him, the same God that they were in covenant with. But you know what? Jesus still, Jesus is God incarnate. He's all through the canon of Scripture. He always was, is, and will be. He's not like someone just came around 2,000 years ago. He always was. It's a powerful truth. Anyway, Jesus is God incarnate. If somebody trying to tell you Jesus is a prophet, he's just a king or a priest, or he's some great apostle, or he's a man who did signs and wonders and a great teacher. No, 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 no. Jesus is God, man. He is deity, and when he came in the form of man, he, you saw deity and humanity in operation. Hallelujah. It's an awesome truth, man. Jesus, hallelujah. Boy, what a wonderful blessing. Praise God. Click subscribe right now to this BFABP on YouTube. That's for believers from a biblical perspective. You can go to my site also, anthonyblackmanministries.com, and pull up the Facebook teachings. And those are entire sermons. And as a matter of fact, you can get this subject here in depth on Jesus is God incarnate in, in one of my Sunday sermons on the Facebook site, BFABP. ABP as well. I praise God for you. I always pray for all my subscribers on a daily basis. I love you. I care for you. Have the best day of your life. In Jesus' name.